Hello, 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 Pokey fans. Welcome to Mitsu Reviews. Today, I'll be reviewing <laughs> that up one. Yes. Uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, episode 70. Click the farm. The blue flame strikes back or strikes. I kind of forget. Anyway, this episode just opens up on uh, Kiawe's farm and his sister calls him since, well, his Marowak is practicing in front of uh, the Tauros and they decided to use him as a ball at one point. Yeah! I don't know how he didn't expect that, but. Yeah. Anyway, uh, later on, there's a uh, guy in a limo who's uh, clearly a rich businessman. I don't know, I can't remember his name, but I think he worked for a company called the Rainbow Company or something. I heard the word Rainbow sometimes when he was at. Uh, on the screen, so I'll just call him Mr. Rainbow. And he does uh, try and buy uh, Kiawe's family farm, but the mother just declines and does tell them to get lost. And later on, uh, like all businessmen, he can't take no for an answer, so he decides to try and force them to sell by uh, stopping their water supply or the water run. On the farm. Yeah. And when asked on the the other uh, classmates of Kiawe find this out, they decide to help. And of course, Kiawe gets over emotional and starts uh, crying with river of tears coming out. And there's a nice montage with the uh, Satoshi and the others uh, helping out and doing it in the uh, with, uh, no, with, the, uh, with the song uh, or the music for uh, the Riding Taurus or whatever song it is or music. Yeah, it's, it's a bad one here. I'm just glad, I'm just glad to put the song in. It's, just, it's a fit. And then uh, Kelly sees that there these people uh, scaring their uh, milk tank. Uh, Mr. Rainbow's here, and then he and Kiawe get into a battle with his uh, magnetic, I love my magnetic, uh, Electivire. Yeah, I think Electivire. The body evolved version of uh, Electabuzz. I think that. And Kiawe's uh, alone in the uh, Marowak to do, do battle. And the Kiawe sits there and Ash show up. And when the uh, Mr. Rainbow's electrifier uses electric attack to get to uh, Marowak, it nearly hits Kelly's sister, but turn near as he gets in front of her and takes it, and this causes him to faint or topple over. I can already tell. And Kelly, you try using the fire type Z move and. It doesn't work. I think because uh, he hasn't trained uh, his uh, Marowak that much, or he just uh, a lot relying uh, too much on his uh, fire type moves or something. But I don't know why they didn't have a battle to decide whether uh, Kiawe should uh, like if the guys should get Kiawe's farm or not. That's usually how this stuff goes, but whatever. Um, during the night, Kiawe uh, has a bit of a talk with uh, Marowak and the same they should train more and turn air and Ash, or well, yeah, Ash is uh, gonna help out. And in the morning, there's gonna be another battle between uh, Mr. Rainbow's uh, Electivire and um, Kiawe's Marowak and it's going to be better first but that's going great when uh, Kiawe has that uh, Marowak use some of his other moves like Iron Head and Shadow Ball and they actually win and this time I think they used the uh, 
still think that if Joy loses, he has to leave. Cause he doesn't leave. He even brings the is a a bulldozer than the. the I don't know what the, the machine is. I can't remember what the machine is called, but it's one of the things that flattens thing what are buildings and that. And even that road Tom has said he has proof that he lost, so we so the guy does that very care. And then uh after Jenny shows up and arrests him. Cause I guess that uh, Rotom proof or picture is proof enough for him to get arrested. Cause I think he might admit that he did uh, do the things that Get a thing with the water or something on the farm. Yeah, that's Emma's guessing here. And um, that's a. As Robert is celebrating and Carrie does the great and He. he yeah, sorry. He's got his mind whack. And. That's about it. Now, this is a good episode. Just good character development between them. Um, Kiawe and Marowak and I'm kinda glad that they did were able to uh, use the fire type Z move in the second battle even though it seemed a bit quick uh, I don't know um, what else what else uh, well when the guy first left it's kinda of funny that um, Mar a lot of Mara was like mimicking what um, I forget what Pokemon's name is but the middle uh, evolution of a lady pup and they both start barking at him it's kind of funny and it's just good seeing that um, a lot of Mara has other moves and some that Kelly it still needs to learn to not just uh, use fire type moves maybe he'll be getting the ghost type bed Z crystal and the ghost girl shows up. I don't know. Um, what else? What else? Uh, everybody else. And this was a uh, good. And just the fact that Tornado took a an electric uh, type attack to protect the uh, Cowie's sister was just uh, unexpected a little. But I don't know what can I say. This episode is better than the last two. Just because it has a lot more character development, so it has a character that I actually like getting into development, or does actually get into development. Yeah, I don't think Sophocles ever gets character development in any episodes. They, they, uh, they, 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 they focus on him. Ugh, I don't know. He just sucks. I mean, next week, I. I think there will be some two, uh, episodes uh, 71 and 72 as I heard it's uh, they're doing like a special thing and some both together so the first one episode 71 uh, a juice by uh, falls in love with uh, Lana and the one after that 72 uh, Madeline's uh, brother comes in and he'll be just doing something. I think I also like one of these episodes better than the other. I think I guess which but yeah. I'm just wondering if there's gonna be some uh, blue angel tipping moments in the uh, Lana episode. Probably, probably not. That's what I say. Um yeah, that's about it and until next time I'm a two. See you guys later.